Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be showing you how you can highlight the minimum and the maximum on a visualization. So I've connected to the Superstore data set and I'm using the orders tab. The first thing we want to do is just create ourselves a very simple line graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag order date out here, give ourselves a bit of space, take quarter away, just make these a bit smaller. smaller still, a bit smaller still, a bit smaller still, Oop, a bit too small. There we go. Now we have everything on one page. And then we're going to take sales and we're going to drag sales out. And now you can see that we have the monthly sales um, for our product, whatever that may be, on a line graph. Again, we just can't quite see. There we go. Now we've got the whole thing on the screen. And let's say that we wanted to know each year what the highest was. Some years it's obvious, right? Some years it's obviously this one and this one. Uh, sometimes it's this one. This one, September looks like the highest in this year. So let's take a look and see if we can highlight what the highest was and what the minimum was. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and create ourselves a calculated field. This calculated field, we're going to call min, max, medium, and then we're going to use an if function. So we're going to say if something, then it's the maximum. If, else if rather, something else, then it's the minimum. Else, it's medium. Now, in here, we want to say if the sum of sales is equal to the maximum of the sum of sales across some portion. And to do that, we're going to use a table function. But instead of using the quick table function, we're actually going to create it by hand. And what the function that we want to use is window max. Window max will give us the highest value for a, whatever we tell it within a window that we can also specify. So we're going to say window max sum of sales. Now remember, we have to add an extra parentheses in there to make sure we're all balanced. And then for min, obviously, we're going to do the same thing. But instead of using min, or sorry, instead of using max, we're going to be using the window min. Add the parentheses in. Perfect. OK, so let's go ahead and drag this out to uh, our color shelf. It's obviously not going to work first time out, because it never does. Um, and then we have to specify within this how we want to use it. So we want to say specific dimensions. Right now, we're only getting medium values, which is obviously not ideal. Um, we just want to use the month and then now you can see we're beginning to see that we have the minimum month highlighted red, the maximum month highlighted blue, everything else highlighted orange, and that's the same because we're only using the month, we're not using the year. So for every year, it's just showing us the maximum and the minimum month. All right, awesome. Now, unfortunately, it looks a bit ugly. So we don't really want the line to change color. Um, the line changing color doesn't, frankly, look particularly helpful. It's not particularly striking. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and create ourselves a second sum of sales, exactly the same. On this first one, we're going to remove the min and max from the color. So we're just going to have this nice gray line. And then in this one, we're going to make it a shape. And then we're going to set the shape to be a filled circle. Now this is a bit clearer, right? Now we have a red dot, some orange dots and a blue dot. We can even fix that a bit by just making this medium a slightly less offensive color. There we go. Now you can clearly see where the highest and the lowest months are. But obviously, we want these two one on top of the other. So to do that, just go ahead, create a dual axis chart. One of the important things that we want to do is we make sure we synchronize the axes on this one. And since we're both using the same axis, we can actually get rid of that header and just use the second header. And now we can play around with this in various ways to make it look slightly better, to make the dots a little bit bigger. But the bottom line is we now have a clear highlight on each of our years when the maximum month was and when the minimum month was. That uh, about wraps it up for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. Uh, hang out with uh, us for a little bit longer and we're going to do the same thing with a bar chart.